are bonds attractive again? Today we have a very, very exciting interview with Helge Müller from Genève Invest in Geneva. He is one of the best portfolio managers I know and first of all he is the best bond expert I know. It's a great pleasure today to introduce Helge Müller from Genève Invest. Stay with us. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I am a Swiss banking lawyer, the founder of Caputo Partners. Caputo Partners is a Swiss boutique law firm established in the center, in the financial center of Zurich at Paradeplatz in Switzerland. I am also the founder of the domain and blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss Bank, to pay less tax and to make more money in general. Stay with us. We fight for your money. It's a great pleasure to have Helge Miller with us from Genève Invest. Helge, what are the factors that have contributed to the revival of bond, to the attractiveness of bond? Well, the market has fundamentally changed in a very short time yeah. because simply, simply the interest rates went up dramatically. And this is a change that we have not seen for 20 years. Interest rates were very attractive in the 90s, but then basically the interest rates disappeared. And this has changed right now. As a result, bonds dropped dramatically. For, to give an example, US government bonds with 30 year maturity dropped in the last 18 months 40%. But this is not because they will go bankrupt. It is simply because the interest rates, interest rates have changed so fun fundamentally. And this makes right now um, provided the background for a fant fantastic environment right now to invest because you get proper yield again. You get proper yield again. This is new because the last 20 years bonds were not attractive and now there is a revival for bonds. How is the bond market now? What are the factors that make the bond market attractive right now? What is the, because we have the war in Ukraine, we have uh, inflation, we have uh, interest rates movements. What makes bonds attractive? Well, in, in the last years, it was basically if you were investing in bonds um, and you wanted to invest safe in government bonds of AAA countries like the United States of America or Germany, you basically were just getting negative interest rates. So basically, you were losing money by leaving the money in a safe place. Now this has fundamentally changed. For a US government bond, you now get 4% yield for 10-year 10 10 year maturities. Very attractive, very attractive. And, and because this level has moved up so much, you right now for corporate bonds get even more. So corporate bonds are even more attractive. So you advise, you like corporate bonds, I know that. Why you go then for corporate bonds, even if there is more risks than government bonds? Well, th the point is risk you can manage, Yeah. but um, corporates just give you much nicer yields. So uh -huh. therefore you get a premium, I mean, what is the difference between corporate bonds and uh, government bonds? Well, government bonds are debt issued by the government. Yeah. So the government is eligible yeah. to pay the interest and um, the principal. I see, but the government, as you told before, we have 4%. And what is the percentage, uh, what is the performance for uh, corporate bonds? For, for big companies, you probably would get a premium um, of um, 3 4%. So there are yields possible in the level of um, 6 to 8%. Very um, attractive. The double as government bonds. Yes. Very attractive. Um, and then if you go to smaller companies yeah. and you have tailor selection um, of those companies, you can even get um, yields. Um. What are the most important risks associated with corporate bonds? As an investor, what you should have a look on it. What should you consider when you invest in corporate bonds? What is risky? What is less risky? How do you manage the risks? Well, 
from a starting point, bonds have one important advantage compared to any other asset class. Yeah. And that is, you know already at the moment when you invest, how much you will get. Uh -huh. Because you know the yield, you know what are the coupons that you are collecting and when you get your money back. For example, if the duration is three years, for example, you know exactly that after three years you invest your money back. And what happened if you need money earlier? Then you come to the first risk point. You can sell the bond anytime, but yeah. you sell to the market. And here you have the market risk. So, of course, bonds are also traded yeah. um, on the bond market and um, prices can move. They don't move as much as um, the stock market usually, yeah. but still you have uh, volatility. So if you sell prior and the bond dropped, then you can sell with a loss. Very interesting. Helge, can you give us some examples of corporate bonds? So what are the most, the best corporate bonds you are investing money now for your clients. Can you give us some examples? What are you looking for? How you make the selection? How you diversify your portfolios to mitigate the risk? So what are the best bonds actually in the market? We have February, February 23. So what, what, is, of, what is the market offering us in terms of corporate bonds? Give us some names. With great pleasure. Yeah. So I think one important point, um, when you select bonds is that um, you look at the currency. The currency selection is a key point. Uh -huh. And here, um, the way we invest, we like to reduce the risk on this side as much as possible by only invest in what we call hard currencies. And this is, in our view, um, Euro, Dollar, um, Scandinavian currencies and um, Swiss franc. Um, so if you go outside, you often get higher yields, for instance, in Brazilian currency here yeah. or the Turkish leader, but then you have the currency risk. We try to avoid that. With the hard currencies, you also have fluctuations, but they are much lower and often in um, a zero lump game. Uh -huh. um, but you can also insure the currency risk, you know, you can uh, hedge certain currencies. You can hedge, but you often find enough bonds in each currency. So for instance, if someone is only euro focused yeah. or pound focused or dollar focused, it is possible to invest 100% in that currency. Yeah. However, for instance, in the Eurozone, we don't consider the Eurozone as a safe haven uh -huh. because there can also come up problems with um, Italy, Spain, um, um, tumults. So therefore, we always find it safer, although you have some currency risk, not only invest in one currency, but to diversify. Diversify also the currency. So you basically invest in dollars and in Swiss francs or uh, what dollars, kind of Swiss other... Francs, Euro, um, Scandinavian currencies. And Scandinavian so, currencies, so which was very strong. Excellent. Thank you. What are the strategies for investing in bonds? And how can you mitigate the risk? How can you manage the risk wisely? Well, one important point is that you bring the duration of the bond in coherence of your investment horizon. Uh -huh. So if you, for instance, consider to um, make a big investment in real estate in the next two years. So you have to ask the investors, you need the money, you don't need the money. If you don't need the money, we can go for a longer duration, for a longer maturity. And if he needs the money, you have to go for a shorter maturity. Uh, absolutely. This yeah. is one important point. But the, the second dimension is even more important. And this is a tactical consideration. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To give an example, yeah. um, in the last uh, 12 months, with int rising interest rates, it yeah. was not a good idea to have long durations for the bonds because prices were dropping. Yeah. Because, for instance, the United States government um, is offering more interest rates. Uh -huh. Those that have a lower coupon issued it. Um, so earlier. it's better to wait for the uh, for the new investment for the That's new. Right, yeah. and therefore you want to have shorter maturities in order to have the opportunity to switch to higher yields. Uh -huh. Now we have a very high yield in environment. Yes. And probably in 2024 or 2025, five interest rates will go down again. Yeah. And in this moment, suddenly you will get less interest rates and therefore it is good to, to secure right now. So to buy now, so you should buy now corporate bonds. You should buy now longer Be running long corporate bonds. Or uh. let's say we are getting to the point where longer running bonds become more attractive um, because then you can secure your high um, yield level for many years to come. So some corporate very bonds, interesting. If very the US interesting. government is now at 4%, corporates yeah. are at 
um, up to 8% for, for big corporations even, yeah. then you want to fix that for quite some time because then you can lay back and you just have a nice cash flow for many years to come. Very interesting. Make some names of these good corporations you can invest. Make some names. Are these companies famous or are these companies unknown you are investing? Which kind of companies are issuing bonds? Well, the nice part is Already with conservative corporations, you get nice yields. For I mean, example? For example, um, uh, if you go to uh, European banks, BMW, Paribas, Rabobank, Deutsche Bank, all those names give you already um, six, seven um, percent yield. Yeah. Um, then, um, and also DAX companies um, can give you um, six, seven percent yield. But if you go to lower levels, um, then it becomes far more attractive. And there are also very nice names. Um, for instance, um, companies in the area that run um, um, parking houses. Yeah, parking um, houses. Yeah, so right. they have very so niche, niche companies. Niche companies. Yeah. They're not that big and they give you up to 10% yield. Wow, wow, unbelievable, um, unbelievable. So if you buy now such kind of investments, you have the opportunity to preserve this high yield for f future years. Th that's the point. Very good. What you right. want to is lock in right now. Or we're coming to the point of locking in right now. So. At the moment, we are more focused. In the recent years, we were more at two to three year maturities. Yes. Now we switch to um, six, um, six or five to seven year longer, maturities, longer, longer one. Yeah. But soon, when we see that we come to the peak, then it even makes sense to lock in for ten or twenty years because it is not only that you have the interest locked in for such a long time. If interest rates come down, the prices of those bonds will go up dramatically. So, like a US government bond that dropped 40% with 30 maturities in the last 18 months, if right now interest rates go down again, those bonds can go up 50% again. Wow, it's crazy, crazy how much you can do with bonds. Now, let's assume I bring you 1 million euro to invest and I tell you, Helge, make me a bond portfolio. How many bonds are going to buy? How do you diversify? How many products are you considering for this portfolio, for a 1 million euro portfolio? Wait, wait, How many companies you put in this portfolio? Key point, no products buy the pure bond. Because if you buy go into products, then you always pay additional fee structures and you don't have the control over the maturities. This is what you want to have. This is very you want important. To have cash flow, you want to have control of the cash flow, you want to have transparency. Therefore, so buy the individual bonds, my strong recommendation. And then, of course. So, this is very important. So, don't buy products or structured products, buy, do the direct investments. Correct? That's it. Buy directly the bonds and not other uh, derivatives or whatever. That's a key point. And, and the second important point is that um, diversification. Yeah. How many companies, with how many companies you have diversified? 20 or 30 or? 50 to 60. 50 to 60 companies, you see. Even so so yeah. the point is very simple. Then you have 2% positions. Yeah. Um, in a default case, um, normally you get out about 40 to 50%. So you would lose the, the potential risk of each bond is only 1% of the portfolio. But if you get an average of 8 to 10% current inflow, it's very even, attractive. It's even very if attractive. you would have um, yeah. uh, one or two defaults, it, um, it would not really impact the portfolio. The yeah. yield would be still attractive. Um, but of course, um, if you tailor made and you carefully select each position, then the default risk is, is very low. It historically is also very low. So yeah. to give you an example, yeah. the biggest default um, um, level that we had in the last 100 years yeah. was in the year 2009, following uh -huh. the big financial crisis. And um, Standard & Poor um, gave the prediction that um, about 60% um, in the European high yield market would default, 60%. Uh -huh. wow. And in the end, it was only 9%. Uh -huh. And of those 9%, the recovery was about 50%. So the loss rate was only 4%. Wow, unbelievable. But, and, but people think, oh, we have a tremendous loss rate, tremendous yes. bankruptcy cases and so on. But that's not true. That, that's the point. But, but although this was the highest default rate in Europe of yeah. all time, yeah. the yields that you were getting was in 2009 was about um, 60%. Wow. Um, for the, just the year 2009, because the bond prices were trading with such a big discount. To give an example, um, Barclays Bank was trading at 10%, yeah. 90% discount. And in the same year, 
This was in February of 2009. In December of uh, 2009, they were paying back this bond at 105. Wow, so unbelievable. This, this this is crazy. So, so what is nice in, in bond selection, everyone is looking at the stock market to find good opportunities. Yeah. Very few make tailor selection, individual selection of bonds. That's true. Bond That's true. Everybody speaks about stocks, about cherry picking and whatever, you know, to find opportunities, undervalued companies. But very few consider that bonds can be very attractive. They think that bonds investments are annoying, but Helge tells us the opposite. Bonds are very, very sexy invest can be very attractive investments. So give me some names of the most sold bonds to your clients. So you have your client base and what are give me some I want to hear some names of corporate bonds which are very attractive. Give me a couple of names. Well, to, to start with a, what we consider a very nice name is a company called Stena. Uh -huh. um, Stena never heard. Never Stena heard. Is, is a company that make fair shipping between oh, yeah. Denmark and Sweden and oh, yeah. France and uh, UK. They have very stable income. Uh -huh. But what very few people know is that Stena, in addition to that, has a big real estate portfolio. Uh -huh. Very and, interesting. And we know from, from the management that basically the real estate portfolio has a higher value than all debt they have. Very but interesting. But on top, they have record earnings. At the same time, you get for such a name with one year, maturity in one year, you get 9%. Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable. 9% which such a secure investments and they are not a, a fintech company or, or a Bitcoin whatever kind of company. They are doing uh, transportation between Denmark and Sweden. That's yeah, this is the, and, and, and real estate and real estate. Very interesting example. Can you give us another example? I like this kind of examples. Can you give me another example of uh, uh, something which is uh, unknown but, but very attractive? Well, the biggest secret, yeah. and I don't know if it's a good idea to speak this in public because yeah. we want to keep it. But actually, tell us the actually, secret. Actually, I, want want to, to I want to hear the secret. I want to hear the secret. We want to keep it for ourselves. But, but indeed, there is one area that is overwhelming attractive, and this is the area of convertible bonds. Convertible what bonds. What has happened? Yeah. So, so many don't know how convertible bonds work. So normally they are issued at 100. Um, but what, what, at what is a convertible bond? Can you Conver explain yeah, very shortly what so is a convertible, convertible bond? bond is issued at 100 yeah. and gives you the opportunity, the option, but not the obligation uh -huh. to switch to the same stock of the same company yeah. within or after a time frame of normally five years or so. Uh -huh. And um, this is this has always existed and in, in, is an investment form. It is nice because uh -huh. you can um, invest in certain companies, but if it doesn't work out, you can just take back the bond at par. Yeah, yeah. So, but the interest level is normally quite low and therefore yeah. it is not um, interactive in terms of interest rate collection. Yeah, what has happened because the market went down so much yeah. on the equity side and also on the side of the bonds, many of those convertible bonds have dropped 20, 30, 40 percent in price and trade significantly below par. And as a result, at the moment, you are able to buy those bonds at current price levels. You have just from the interest component the possibility to get very attractive yields. Even for DAX companies like Zalando, you get 6-7% of fixed yield um, on this bond. Very but, nice. But you get the option to switch to a stock for free of charge. Yeah. And very everyone is right now so convinced that the market will drop and will drop and will drop. But, but what you need to consider is that prices um, could also recover at one point. Yeah. Um, and then suddenly the option comes back. And, and in order that you get substantive value, you, you even don't need to get into the money with the option, just that you get into the direction towards the strike price often results in that, that convertible bonds trade at uh, 130, 140. Currently you buy them at 70, 60. You have doubled your money on a totally risk-free basis. Unbelievable, value. unbelievable. These are real secrets of our bond expert Helge Müller. Thank you very much Helge Müller for being with us. It was a great pleasure to have you here. Information just like this you don't cannot find in bibliotheques, not in libraries and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this please click the button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you want to speak directly with me, if you have a question or if you want to speak to Helge, his phone number will be in the description of the video or you can just 
call directly to me. Here is the here is the number. Just call 0041 Be rich and stay rich. I wish you a beautiful day.